Hey everybody, Ryan here at E-Trailer. Today on our 2023 Subaru Outback Wagon, we're gonna be checking out the Thule Hitching Post Pro Hitch Mounted Bike Rack. First impressions of the rack on the back of the Subaru, I think it looks right at home. You know, uh, just about any accessory you put on an Outback or any Subaru for that matter, you know, blends right in, kind of matches that image. Um, and that holds true with this, this particular rack as well, at least in my opinion. Uh, something else I noticed too is where it's going to sit uh, in, in relation to your back window where the bike is going to sit. So it's almost, uh, you know, right at the bottom of the glass. So, you know, it's not going to interfere with your visibility when you're looking through the rear, mirror, rear view mirror uh, as much as others, you know. It's kind of find that sweet spot, uh, in my opinion, because you can see the bikes and keep an eye on them, but you're not completely blinded either. Um, as far as... Some of the things I like about this one, um, there's quite a few things. It's, it's a tried and true rack, you know, a lot of people uh, like it and that's partly due to the simplicity of it. So uh, really straightforward, it can hold a lot of bikes, you know, up to four with this setup. And the way it works is it's just going to sit in the cradles here, be held down with two straps. And then there's a, a third strap down here and what that's going to do is just help limit side to side movement. You're still going to get a little bit, but, um, you know, limiting it will help prevent your bikes from kind of clunking into each other uh, whenever you're going down the road. But that said, we'll pull this off and, and take a better look at it. So, you know, as you can imagine, the straps, you just pull them right off. No big deal. And we're able to slide this off. And one of the things I think is important, especially when you start getting to these three, four, five, you know, bigger uh, type hanging racks, is the width of the arms. So on this one, the arms are relatively narrow. They're going to do a good job of keeping it supported, but it's still manageable when you're taking the bike off. You know, they're not so wide that you have to really fight it and, and put in a whole lot of effort. One thing uh, I, I do really like about this rack is the cradles here. So your bike's frame's going to sit in there. They're nice and wide, uh, relatively tall. You know, there's some channels in there so your cables don't get smashed up. They're almost uh, like a, a soft plastic or a hard rubber, so they're not going to scratch anything. These straps, these things are awesome. They're super thick. Uh, they last a long time. We use this bike rack almost every day, putting it on different vehicles, and so it really, uh, you know, takes a beating. And these things just hold up, you know, flat out. For the average person using this, probably never gonna have to worry about these breaking or failing on you. And that's just not the case with a lot of uh, racks that use a similar type strap. That said though, when you're not using it, keep everything together, you know, go ahead and just pop them back in place. Something you do need to think about um, whenever you have the rack on the back of your Subaru is it's gonna extend the overall length of it. And so, Let's say maybe if you want to load your bikes up the night before or day before you go riding and want to park into the garage, now that way you're ready to roll in the morning, you need to know if it'll fit or not, right? So I'll give you a measurement. I'll just go from our back hatch here to the very edge of the rack. And in this position, it looks like it's going to add about 38 inches. So it is going to take up a little space. Uh, however, the arms do fold down. So, you know, if you're, uh, not going to be riding or, or don't uh, need to carry your bikes around. You can always swing the arms down. So there's a pen and clip here. You can pull that out, swing these on down, and that'll free up quite a bit of space. Let me put this pen back in here. And with it like that, uh, not going not gonna to take up a whole lot of room, so we'll take that same measurement. And in this position, it looks like it's only going to add about 17 inches. So unless you have a really small garage, you should be in pretty good shape when you do go to pull into it. One thing a lot of people do wonder about is if you're still going to be able to have access to the back of your Subaru. And with this one, it does fold down out of the way. There's another uh, pen and clip here. You pull that out. And this swings down pretty far, more, than, uh, more so than a lot of the other ones out on the market. And that'll give you more than enough room to be able to open up your hatch and get anything you might need in and out of the back. Moving down here, uh, the rack is going to work with the two inch by two inch receiver tube openings like we have here today on our outback. It also has the ability to work with the smaller inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter. So got a different uh, vehicle in the house with that size hitch. Chances are good this will work with it. 
It's gonna come with an anti-rattle bolt as well, which eliminates any slop or play in the connection point and keeps things nice and quiet, and not clunking around. So to kind of give you an example of that, say if you're going down the road, hitting some bumps, you can see that the rack is gonna move with our Subaru and not on its own. Other than all that though, you know, a rack you really can't go wrong with. Like I said before, these are super popular. Uh, people seem to love them and I can see why, you know, really well built, easy to use and easy to figure out. And that'll finish up our look at of the Thule Hitching Post Pro Hitch Moto Bike Rack on our 2023 Subaru Outback Wagon.